try and do a uh, a random rush. I think it's the earliest we've ever done it. Let's see if he's uh. Let's see. Might get rushed in a different mood. Imagine, w- yeah. I'm sorry for everything I've done, folks. <laughs> I'm retiring. Hey, look! No. Washington Post coming. No, oh, that's the wrong God. way to look at this. I guess not. <laughs> Propping up Obama. All right, this should be fun. Let me get my uh, clock here ready for this. <clears throat> Okay, it's time for Random Rush. You know what that means. I listen to Rush Limbaugh for 60 seconds. I respond in 90. It is 12.38 p.m. East Coast time. Said that his election was going to make the world a utopia. That two things had to happen for that to happen. A, he had to be elected. B, George Bush had to be sent packing. That was his campaign. If those two things happen, we've got utopia. We've got people around the world loving us once again. We got, we're going to have fairness and equality here at home. We're going to have economic prosperity. We're going to have free health care, all of that stuff, if we just get rid of these Republicans and if you elect me. And for five years, Obama has led an administration, not just on foreign policy, but more on how he thinks things ought to be than on reality. Fantasy land, living in a dream world, based on a belief that this country's founding was unjust and immoral. And do not doubt me that Obama and his acolytes believe that. Okay, so there's uh, Rush Limbaugh talking about how President Obama was the Messiah and promised us a utopia, and um, uh, weirdly, it's not here yet. And the reason why this is the case is because Obama and his acolytes, I guess that would be um, Bill Ayers and Saul Alinsky from the grave, Uh, believed that this country was founded on unjust and immoral principles, and therefore he must go forward and not create the utopia that he promised us. I guess presumably this is uh, Rush Limbaugh talking about how his audience has suffered so much because of this Russian invasion of Crimea and how the world is in disarray because of what is happening in Crimea. Undoubtedly, a week prior to today, not one of his audience members knew what Crimea was. <laughs> and so here is uh, uh, Rush Limbaugh. Uh, I am uh, no Obama apologist, but there is uh, the fact is, is that people, even to the extent that uh, Republicans still hold the Congress, people have utterly rejected Republican values and Republican prescriptions. And uh, yes, the world is not a utopia, but also we haven't invaded a country as of late. And yes, uh, we have a drone campaign that uh, many of us on the left disagree with, which I'm sure uh, Limbaugh would embrace. But at last I remember, we have not invaded and illegally occupied and invaded, I should say, a country causing nearly the death of of 5,000 U.S. service uh, men and women, the deaths of uh, well over 100,000 innocent Iraqis, probably closer to 500,000, the displacement of 4 million uh, Iraqis, and the cost of trillions of trillions of dollars. So maybe not utopia, but I think we're still doing a little better than we did under Bush. I went long.